Welcome back. If you only just joined us, you're watching the Daily Roundup with Nina. On to our last conversation this evening, Zoe Titus, the director of the Namibia Media Trust, is excited to share details of the upcoming Bootcamp and Fellowship Initiative for 2024. Under the umbrella of the Namibia Media Trust, an NXT Journalist Hub is inviting African youth in the journalism field to submit their podcast ideas for a chance to participate in this exciting opportunity. In this discussion, Zoe discusses the goals and objectives of the initiative, the application process, and what participants can expect from the experience. Zoe, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, good evening, Nina, and huge apologies that I can't join you in person. And good evening to the viewers as well. Well, apology accepted, uh, Zoe. Let's get right into it. Talk to us about the main objective of the uh, next or NXT Journalist Hub and the upcoming bootcamp and fellowship initiative. Well, the NMT or Namibia Media Trust uh, um, is very well aware that um, media outlets in, in our region in Southern Africa are really struggling to adjust to new digital markets, um, new content formats and channels, and in developing uh, talent. So we have uh, established over a number of years a journalism training center of excellence, which is built on the, the three pillars of new ideas, exchange of knowledge and training. Um, and that is, in effect, um, the objectives of our next journalism hub, which is the training arm of uh, the Namibia Media Trust. Um, with respect to our boot camp and fellowship, um, we realize that podcasting is, uh, is a rapidly developing format. Um, so we are hoping to offer opportunities for um you know, aspirant podcasters in Namibia and the region, Southern Africa, that's where it's focused, okay. to, to join us on, on this journey um, to enhance their podcasting skills, uh, but importantly to establish a network of podcasters um, to contribute to this growing uh, podcasting landscape in the region. So our program, which we are implementing now for the third time this year is then designed to support both seasoned and new um, newcomers to podcasting. Um, and through this fellowship, we offer technical support, mentorship, and opportunities for collaboration. Awesome. And, and what kind of podcast ideas are you looking for from the applicants? Oh, I mean, uh, podcasters are, are not limited. Um, to, I mean, the ideas that they want to represent um, or offer. It's largely, I suppose, um, in issues around media freedom, freedom of expression, access to information. Uh, many have offered um, pitch journalistic topics, issues around human rights, social inclusion, youth participation, environment. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So they are not limited. Yeah. But, I mean, we are a human rights based organization mm -hmm. and social justice is very very central mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. to our organizational objectives and and i suppose that those would be the kinds of topics yeah. that we would foreground i want to get right into the application process and what the timeline for that is and the requirements mm -hmm. for that are well um applications um start or we open the process in May um, and it closes on June 20th. Uh, the, the key requirement there is that the applicant must be at least 21 years old, have a valid passport, because we're making provision also for podcasters from outside of Namibia. Mm. So um, when we're speaking of outside of Namibia, we can't accommodate the entire region. Yeah. Um, so we are foregrounding applications from Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Namibia, Zambia and Zimbabwe. And um, our one ask is that our applicants must commit to ethical journalism and its guidelines. That is, um, that, that, that is a basic requirement. Well, that sounds easy enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so. 
Just lastly, Zoe, can you share with us, you know, uh, any notable alumni or success stories from previous initiatives? Oh, I'm, I'm happy to do that because, um, and that's why I would really encourage uh, Namibians um, and others from the region to take advantage of this opportunity. Um, the boot camp and fellowship program has been, um, you know, a starting block, uh, a launching pad um, for, you know, um, alumni like uh, Nalago Johannes. Um, who recently, just last month, won um, the Newsroom Challenge, which gave her continental recognition for her podcast. And her podcast is focused on engaging youth with African issues through verified news from traditional media outlets. And I'm sure you are familiar with Sel Selma Iyambo. She's the founder of Sex Talk Podcast, mm -hmm. which she developed um, during our fellowship. And um, I mean, she's just blossomed. Um, she won uh, seed funding, uh, aside from the seed funding that we um, provided, uh, but she's won seed funding at the Mental Health and Sexual Reproductive Health uh, Hack Lab in uh, Kenya. That's seed funding of US dollars, um, 20,000. She has been profiled uh, through a UNESCO uh, program and uh, at the beginning of the year in January she won <clears throat> the digital media category yes. at the Be Free Inaugural Media Award so it's a great opportunity to get into podcasting. Yeah. That's fantastic, Zoe. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Unfortunately, our time was very short, but I will be directing all our viewers, of course, to the Namibia uh, Media Trust page if you'd like some more information on how you can apply for this boot camp and fellowship. Do go onto the page. All the information is there. And as Ms. Zoe Titus mentioned, the closing date is the 20th of June 2024. So if you're going to send an application, good luck. From all of us here at